Hello beautiful beings. Many are unaware of variations of different types of technologies to traverse space and time. And one of those technologies, as sci-fi as it seems, is stargates. And we could say natural stargates, not just technological devices, man-made synthetic devices, but there is also natural portal sites that are on a planetary body that some of them can even connect to other worlds. Not just local within one, let's say our solar system, but also other star systems. Also the sun is a portal in and of itself. All the stars, which our sun is, are connected and they connect through the galactic center, which connects to the central point of other galaxies as well. There is also the aspect of this of parallel universes, different densities of consciousness with their planes of dimensions. And a lot of the, we could say, traveling that occurs is done through stargates. Very ancient ones here, uh, some of the pyramids, some of the ancient sites. There's also ones before the ones that we know of, of crystalline pyramidal structures that are actually universal and were originally created by the positive Elohim who are the first intelligences to manifest in physical form, not to be mixed with the lower light Elohim, which created the AI and let's say are behind some of what's going on today. We're in a situation where a lot of what I term dark masters are stepping forth, which have been behind reptilian intelligences and their whole network of other species and intelligences that are in a line with let's say service to self rather than service to others, which we could say are pawns and foot soldiers for this lower light. But with that said, the biggest and most advanced Stargate technology is right here in the heart space. I can't prove it, but I've been saying for a long time that I believe that the physical manifestation part of the light body, its core aspect is the heart space. And that when you've got heart and brain coherence and you connect with the heart and you're working with the heart, some of these what seem like superhero abilities come online. Telepathy, levitation, telekinesis, PK, remote viewing and astral traveling to where even by location can start to come online, connecting back to let's say what the Tibetans reference in terms of the rainbow body. You can actually see that behind me with Padma Sambhava which it's said, and going into Namkai Norbu's work, who's no longer with us, that this is being taught in 13 star systems. So you've got an aspect where, yes, there are uh, synthetic man-made stargates, there's natural stargates, there are crafts that can use stargates as well, depending on the size, or let's say they could fly into our sun or a star and use the tunnel network that connects all the stars. And then you've got intelligences that get to a certain level of consciousness that they don't need man-made technology. They're using the inner technology. And this inner technology, you break down from a physical form going into the Merkaba than the rainbow light. But what they're doing is they're breaking down into the rainbow light, which now merges with God's mind and through thought you can navigate where and when you want to manifest and reappear. And this is where it gets very laid that some of these uh, machines in the sky are us in the future or the past appearing in this time. Some are extraterrestrials, some are inner earth, some are angelic, ultra terrestrials, the list goes on and on. But we can surpass a lot of this by just connecting with the inner technology as far out as that sounds. And the heart space again is a, uh, a conduit to unlocking these things that I think the higher self naturally communicates with us through thoughts, ideas, epiphanies and concepts to navigate our own ascension pathway. But we also have to embrace the human experience as well for what it is. Things are very up in the air at the moment. A lot of earth changes a lot of social, political and economic situations going on around the world. But as an example, with Cymoscope, when you've got perfect geometry of a frequency and then you're about to change that tone or go up or down, what happens There's chaos. 
we are in a chaotic phase, which is actually a good sign, but it depends on what your intention is and where you direct your energy that determines if you're going to raise your frequency or you're going to lower your frequency. My point with this is do not expect an outside source to save you. It's the inner technology that is going to elevate you and direct you. And from my understanding, the most advanced beings are here at this time to assist humanity, to help themselves and elevate and rise to the occasion and find their true nature in that journey, which again, will come back to the inner technology. And it's very much how we could say connecting with your guides, extraterrestrial intelligences, angelic intelligences work is that when you're in the heart space and you're in that observer mode, thoughts, ideas, epiphanies, concepts start to come in. And it was really great over the weekend we just had a two day self mastery and initiating contact workshop. Uh, all the workshops and events have been absolutely amazing and we're seeing the activity get closer and closer for those that are visiting, which is great for myself. Not only are people experiencing it at close range, they're getting their own direct contact. And I believe that we all have it, but we're not educated on the format on how this takes place. Even to the point when I was taking people through a technique, through this technique, we're able to say the direction and time phenomena was going to appear and it did. But as I say, it's not to be played with. It needs to be respected when initiating contact. Ask yourself firstly, first and foremost, why? What do you want to get from it? What's the fruit you want to glean from it? But also clearing and making sure that you've got a sacred and safe space when you attempt this is key. And again, that comes back to what again? The heart space. And it's through the heart space again, connecting to the inner technology that you access abilities and we could say experiences beyond human comprehension until you've risen to the occasion to allow and be open to these things to be experienced. And there's no right or wrong with this. As I say, if you'd give the shirt off your back to help another human, you don't need to know any of this unless it's something your heart's yearning you to be pulled towards and experience and delve into and research and, and build upon. So, the biggest stargate of all, here. And uh, I'll leave it there, but many blessings. And this is just a quick, we could say, food for thought video, as well as an update. And keep posted to jaiasanctuary.com, where we've got remote viewing workshops coming up in the new year. Um, hangout days, meditation and yoga, hangout days, uh, self-mastery workshops, as well as C5 and Skywatch events. And so many blessings and thank you to all for your support and uh, love, light and bliss, powerful beings. Many blessings.